And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poro Vanyip. That's right, it's not just Professor Vanyip, we're calling this one Poro Vanyip instead because we're going to be winning with Poros. And our most important Poro is going to be the Daring Poro. We have three Daring Poros plus three Poro Cannons to make more Daring Poros plus Lonely Poro and Aurora Porealis can both sometimes make some Daring Poros. And they're going to be very important because of the elusiveness um, you know, makes them very difficult to block. And we're going to make those larger with Professor Von Yip because whenever we summon our one cost ally, grant it plus two plus two. So that means we're going to have one mana three three elusives for the daring poros very very powerful and then we're going to make them even bigger with poro snacks so we can combine poro snacks with poor professor von yep um and you know aurora porealis can make some poro snacks and we can get some big big elusives like suddenly like let's say we play one poro snacks and have von yip in play now they're one mana four fours and so you know like with <laughs> with poro can you can get two one mana four fours uh four four elusives we have Patch Poro Bot in here, another uh, kind of a newer Poro, another good Poro that uh, will change the keywords each round. We're going to look for Elusive. That's going to be the most important keyword because, you know, like that can just add up with all of our Elusives. So we'll have that. And then let's see what else we got. We got at the top end, we got a Heart of the Fluffed. If we have a bunch of Poros in play, hopefully at least one of them being a Daring Poro and being Elusive, we play this, we can make a super big fluffed of poros with elusive so we got that and we have a give it all because we can you know we can use give it all to buff up our units but then also give them all elusive if we have a daring poro in play we can also get a lot of other keywords from the random poros that aurora porealis makes the random poros that lonely poro makes and you know poro bot also getting some random keywords so we could give them a whole bunch of keywords and uh, Braum will have Regen and Challenger also, and Mighty Poro will be Overwhelm. Um, so that's always a lot of fun. So I love Poro decks. I love this kind of deck. I think it's just a ton of fun to play. You get all the keywords. You buff up everything. It's just, uh, it's just a good experience. So let's have some fun. Let's go ahead and go take it on over to Ranked. Let's play some Poros. Is this... Oh, that's... That's, um, what's his name? Oh, uh, Tarek. Tarek, yeah, that's Tarek. Cool, cool, pool party Tarek. Yeah, so other people in chat may know the exact champions that are going to be uh, previewed next week, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, I kind of want to send all these back. Keep the patched Poro bots. No, we'll keep the hor we'll keep the Poro Herder also. So Demacia decks are not what we want to face because we are playing smaller units. All right, prediction started. And since we're playing smaller units, we don't want to... Um... Sorry, opponent. We don't want to face Demacia because Demacia has all the challengers, right? And like Tarek decks probably challenge a bunch, Jarvan. You know, like we don't, we don't want to see the challengers because they just eat up our, our small little Poros. So not the best trade. I didn't, you know, want to do that, but kind of have to. You can tell I didn't play Daring Poro in round one, and the reason why I didn't play Daring Poro, of course, is because of Professor Von Yep. And so I wanted to hold it into my hand and maybe grant it the plus two plus two from the von from the professor. Does mean that I guess I'm just gonna cast this Poro Snacks this round. Maybe I just pass. Yeah, see, like that's why also Proje. Challenger is not good for my little Poros. If they have Sharp Sight, they kill Braum with Gem Sharp Sight. But I don't think we don't play Braum. I 
like Brawl making 4 4s. I like them. Gonna get some more snacks before I start playing these little poros. Man, it's a good curve though. Like these these cards are just really tough for us. Protege, Screeching Dragon, Jarvan. Those are pretty rough. Alright, but we'll get bigger Poros. My little one one poro can kill Jarvan. Alright, we got plunder enabled. Scout and fearsome. Ooh, another Aurora Porealis. Screeching Dragons. Okay, so if I play the Heart of the Fluffed right now, it would be a 7, 11, 15, 19. It'd be a 19, 19. Which isn't bad. It isn't bad. Nothing wrong with that. But I can also just wait. Yeah, I can just wait. Yeah, I would have had Elusive, but because of Sharp Sight, they are able to block. So yeah, having Overwhelm with the Heart of Fluffed, that's important. Yeah, <laughs> you can't really outgrind that, right? Like, we're just going to have a couple more Poro Snacks. So with that game, you probably learned that waiting before playing your Poros is important. Oh, Overwhelm. Okay, so Overwhelm's rough. Probably have to mulligan. Those and, you know, Daring Poro, like, because we want to find, like, Von Yip and Snacks. Find it, want to find, like, those cards first and Braum. So I don't want their Sejuani getting like the pluses and stuff. And obviously taking taking any damage at all. Elusive. Well we're playing that right now. That is the best of keywords. No snacks and no Professor Von Yep and no Braum. Three cards I said that we wanted to see. None of those. Taken. Ooh, okay, there's one, yep. How are we going to have them not the kill my Von Yep? I guess the only way to do that is to play it. Second. They play play that after they attack. Oh, we had a backup. The 
Winter's Claw strikes! I guess I'm probably going to Mystic Shot that 3 1. The Mystic Shot was what I was going to be discarding. Man, Agent Yeti. It's a living. Whoa. That's unexpected. Like this? Oh, I see. Perhaps we should pause for thought. So do I need to discard? I guess I have to discard the Mystic Shot. Yeah, snacks. Just don't kill us this round, or the next round, or any round. Pretty please. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Considering casting the give it all right now and just making these all five five toughs, five five tough elusives with overwhelm. That doesn't sound bad. All right. Glad they didn't have like a frostbite for my five five. Stand and fight. What do they got if they're willing to make this attack? Like a plus three plus one card. They can't challenge Vanya. Vanya doesn't have vulnerable. Business as usual. Darn. I was hoping they weren't really attacking with everything. I mean, so I guess Avanya blocking the 2 2 is probably safe, but. Good, I don't think we're taking eight. Don't touch that. They are elusive. Let's go. All right, two and oh, that's a great win. GG's. Alright, can we outrace uh, Draven and Jinx? There's not a lifesteal Poro, is there? I know the two drop can get lifesteal, but I don't think there's like a one mana lifesteal unit, I don't think. I should probably keep that against aggro. All right, well, I can't block that anyway. But they would have had something that I could block. You know, maybe would have needed to block. Oh, it is a great day for a hmm. Oh, it is a mediocre day at best for a record. Watch and learn. Now we're cooking. 
Kind of a surprising play. I guess they're trying to level up Draven. I kind of think that they should attack with the Precious Pet there also and then use the Spinning Axe to trade up. It's going to take us a little bit of time to set up. Quite right, quite right. But once we set up, we're going to be killing them super fast. Oh, never mind. I gotta work with this joker. I know, right? Let's boogie. Okay, so we're at six. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that wasn't my plan, but you know, this just gets me such better blockers that I guess I have to do that. I was planning, you know, on going Prof Professor Von Yip, double five five elusive. I don't feel like I discard Aurora Porealis, but it is very, very mana intensive. So maybe I discard it, but if I go, because if I go Brom double Poro right now. I maybe just don't need to keep the Von Yip. I think I can, you know, I think I can keep either Von Yip or Porealis, one of the two, and I'm gonna go with Porealis. Seriously, it's fine. This Again. Joker. How can Brom help? Listen, be friends. I also just feel like the the Aurora Porealis is going to be better though than the Von Yip. Like they're both they're both pretty slow. Like the Von Yip doesn't really block anything, and I'm I'm still happy with keeping keeping Porealis, getting rid of Von Yip, because this will I'll be able to play the Daring Poor Heroes, save the three spell mana, and next round have have them. So I just wasn't gonna, like I need to play these things first, and so like the Von Yip just wasn't going to do enough af after that. They just passed up the win. They just discarded Draven's Whirling Death. Like, you know, I blocked that Overwhelm, they Whirling Death, they would have just won right there. Wow. I was going to attack. I was going to attack with the 5-5, five five, though. The day is ours. Now we eat. Zoe Diana. Zoe Diana, pretty good. Let's see. Let's keep the patch for a bot. And look for our, our real powerful cards like the snacks. But I like the I like the portal bot in the opener just so we have like more chances at finding the um, keyword that we want. Oh hey, what's that? That's the keyword that we want. They should be trading with the Daring Poro. Wow. 
Wow. Their hand must not be good. Round three star shaping. Sorry, my dog's scratching the carpet. Yeah, turn two elusive portal bot is the dream. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Harvey. Okay, she's done. What are you doing, girl? That was a weird animation. We got like we got like the Zoe animation from the Zoe hitting the Brom. Y'all notice that? That that was different. That's all right, Brom. You did your job. Trade with the card and give us a four-four overwhelm. We're good. They're playing Diana. Oh no, no Diana. Okay, well. Uh, like this? Oh, I see. Pause for thought. Clad in shining sunlight. Glad to see no culling strike. Is in each stone and star. Cool. It doesn't. It just doesn't make sense to Poro Cannon discard this Poro. When you can uh, just make a new Poro and discard the new one. And I know they got that three six, but. Protector, shield me. Hmm. Feel like we should save and all right. So Zoe's at six. I feel like I should just save this daring portal. Yeah, Zoe getting scary, but not much to do about it. So just gonna. Gonna do its thing. I'm not super rude with these hushes. I'll put them down to one. Super rude with these hushes. It says Zoe's leveled up. Oh, it's at 8, not 10. Right, 9. Alright, well, I'm just gonna cast this right now. Oh, Aurora Porealis, please. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Big tough Poro. A hero cloaked in stars. <laughs> Just got these out here before the Vanya died.
All right, Poros win again. Four and O oh with the Poros. Dude, is this just like the best deck ever? All right, we got the same matchup again. Same opponent. It's not gonna go as good as it did last time. Their hand was pretty bad. My hand was pretty good. I don't want to keep one of these Aurora Porealis still. Right, they did have round one Zoe, but then after that... No, we got the round one elusive, but we need round two elusive. Because after round one Zoe, remember, they went round three star shaping. That's something you don't see very often. Fearsome? Yuck. Just save the spell mana for Poros Snacks. Spell Shield. Spell Shield isn't the worst. Isn't the best either. Honestly, I should probably be saving that for a Diana. But just that thing getting all those gems. I don't like it. Don't want to waste any mana. Overwhelm. Because again, I could play Von Yip here, but I'm worried about them like killing my Von Yip immediately. And so we're kind of having Braum as our test subject. But every mana matters when you have something super expensive like Aurora Borealis. We got Lifesteal. Lifesteal cool. The warrior, deliberate and ruthless. Man. I don't like the warrior. Ooh, okay. We just passed. Fury. Like this? Oh, I see. I guess they're waiting on that. You're not alone. Brom is here. Cool, another Reporialis. I like it. Because we're definitely going to need those. We're going to need those Poro snacks. Find your own light what about a the scout? Darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Um, they could pass here if I pass. If I. I guess I can play this. But flying Boro? Hey, yeah, they scared of those. Makes sense. No. Well, those things die to hush at any point anyway. Forced to hush out of their hands. Hush is obviously very good against us. Fury still. Hmm. along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky, man. Attacking. Yeah, that's a pretty sparkle play. 
shield? Really? Die for me. Oh, you're interesting. I only just do one, I do one more damage to them if I play that Poros next right there. They just always have the immortal fire, don't they? Sure seems like it. Over one quick attack. and grow strong. <laughs> the big immortal fire being taken down by, by my little one one Poros. Eat and grow strong. Can we handle all of these invoke cards? And get the five O. Oh, what do you got? Fearsome? Uh Yeah, this guy's a sin. Alright, so let's see. I am pretty close to killing them, but not quite. I don't think. Why fearsome? Why couldn't you be a better keyword? These Targon cards. Favorite kind of barbecue. Um. I wish I would have played the spell shields. Favorite kind of barbecue. I mean, I just, I guess, like, just like pulled pork. Um, or brisket. Ooh, I like brisket a lot. Can't really go wrong with some good barbecue. Can't really go wrong. Wow, they're trading away their immortal fire. The professor. I just played all my one drops. How do they just have like infinite? Like, where are all these cards coming from? I guess they have more of these. Fury still. It's just always fury and fearsome. Okay. I guess they got me this time with all these equinoxes and hushes and obviously the skies descend and then just man they yeah I guess they got me this time I think the difference between like Carolina For a snack? and Texas barbecue is really like this and like just you know different like Memphis Kansas City I think it's I think they have like mostly it's about the sauces they're using like the sauces and the seasonings your dry rubs
Oh, you think Texas is too sweet? I thought. See, I would say Carolina is more vinegar. Yeah, so I thought I thought Carolina was pretty sweet. I didn't think Texas was too sweet. I thought Texas was more smoky. I don't really have a good play here. I think it's like the Kansas City one's probably the sweet one then. Because I think Texas is smoky. Carolina vinegar. Forward, in the name of the Solari. Kansas City style, like the Kansas style, is pretty sweet. It is easy, see? Yeah, they had just a lot of good stuff. I think that we would win this matchup most of the time. They just had too many Equinoxes and Hush, and then obviously getting the Immortal Fire twice. Having Solari Priestess grab the Immortal Fire, that's pretty rare. The, you know, that you get that good of a card from Solari Priestess. Yeah, we get, got Targoned. We did have like a Frostbite out, right? Like we could have drawn like a Flash Freeze. For a moment, sun and moon are one. Tidings from the sky. Dang. Well, that's too bad. Tidings from the sky. Didn't get an elusive. Not gonna kill any of my poros. I ain't blocking. Next time, we will do better. All right, still a great run for Poro Von Yip. Didn't quite live the five-win dream, but we went four and one in Masters rank. Awesome, awesome uh, deck. Very good record. Um, man, to give it all that last game would have been crazy though. Whenever we still had the elusive, <laughs> we would have got to give it all there. So that was Poro Von Yip. Pretty awesome looking deck. Aurora Porealis is just a, a sweet looking card, but hopefully if you if you like playing Poro decks, hopefully you learn some stuff from uh, these games for how I was playing. You don't just like throw down your Poros right away. Don't, you know, I've seen, like whenever I'm playing against Poros, sometimes people will do that. Like just, you know, daring Poro on round one, attack for one. And it's not really about that, especially, especially if you're playing like Professor Von Yip. You know, try to save them for kind of comboing off after you get like Von Yip in play and then drop a lot of one drops and buff them up real big like that's that's kind of the plan more than just you know attack for one on round one so there we go that's going to be our deck that's going to be poro von yip those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments hopefully y'all really enjoyed this video enjoying these decks today we're doing well with all these uh non-meta decks today it's been a great day hopefully y'all have had some fun watching these videos let me know over there in the comment section but as always Thank you so much for watching some Poro Vanyip, and I'll see you for the next video.